local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Let's go ahead and look at our storm team radar here. We have some clouds still lingering across the northern half of the state back towards the east as well. You might see a stray shower or two at times overnight tonight. Temperatures right now are still fairly mild across the board. We're in the mid 30s out towards the east, upper 30s in central areas. Still seeing some 40s on that southwestern corner. Bowman is still sitting at 46 degrees. Bowman always seems to be the outlier on our map here. If we go ahead and look at our wind chill report brought to you by Absolute Comfort Plumbing and Heating. Those feel like temperatures are in the low to mid 20s down towards the southeast. Feels like 22 right now down in Ashley. Mid 20s in central areas into the 30s as well. Seeing those 30s and 40s still out towards the western half of the state. Temperatures tomorrow should warm up nicely again for us once again into the 40s across the board. Maybe even some 50s again down towards Bowman. We'll just see how warm we get tomorrow though. Probably going to be seeing some fog building in overnight tonight, lingering through the morning hours here. Our precision cast is showing cloudy skies the next couple of days. Maybe some rain showers building in tomorrow afternoon. They should be light and scattered overall here. But as you get into Wednesday morning, that's when our main event is going to begin rolling in here with some freezing rain and snow out towards the west. It should say mostly snow out towards Williston and Minot over the course of this system. As you get into late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, going to be seeing a mix of rain, freezing rain, and snow in the Bismarck area. Still rain out towards the east. As you roll through Thursday, however, you see that snow gradually take over in central and eastern portions of the state. That's the tricky part of this forecast, though, is when do we change over from the rain to the freezing rain? How long does the freezing rain last before it gradually goes to snow? And is it going to be warm enough or cold enough, I should say, at the surface to support seeing accumulating snow or are our ground temperatures too warm as it has been warm really the last couple of weeks here as you roll through Thursday night and Friday that snow gradually tapers off during the afternoon hours on Friday. This is our snow total comparison using our European and GFS models. They look fairly consistent overall, which should 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 suggest strong confidence in a forecast, but there are still some concerns. Like I said, I almost wonder if these models are overdoing it just a little bit, particularly in the Bismarck area out towards the east as well. The models are saying anywhere from five to eight inches in those areas, probably closer to two to four as we're looking at that rain lingering just a little bit longer perhaps than these models are suggesting. And temperatures on Thursday, if you look at Bismarck, 38 degrees. It's a little too warm to support snow early on, but as we get into Thursday evening and overnight should gradually get below freezing, which will eventually support snow in the area. But again, when that changeover happens is really going to be indicative of how much snow we see. Again, it should be mostly snow out towards the west and into the north. Those are the areas we're most most confident in. But again, back towards the south and towards the east, still a little bit iffy on that changeover is going to happen. Williston's five day forecast, a high of 41. That's the last nice day really in the next five days. Snow pushes in late in the week, down to 30 degrees for a high on Saturday into the teens at night as well. Dickinson's five day forecast, maybe pushing 40 tomorrow, gradually getting cooler with that snow pushing in again on Thursday, 30 for a high once again here on Saturday. My not seven day forecast, a high of 42 tomorrow, a little bit cooler as you approach late in the week. Highs in the low 30s by the weekend and early next week. Bismarck, similar story. Tomorrow is the last nice day before that snow pushes in. Sitting around freezing for our highs over the weekend and teens at night, Joel. Well, we don't want February to go by so fast. You know, you got to give stuff. You got to have stuff like this. So, it, uh, yeah. you know, it's it makes, makes it entertaining. Yeah, if it's, else. you don't want February to be five minutes long. Really. Yeah, well, it is the shortest month out of the year. But hey, you know, I mean, it is winter and it's been quite mild the last couple of weeks. So this was bound to happen. Yeah, spice I mean. it up a little bit. Yeah. Give us a little some cold days in here and whatnot. It's, mel coming. it's melting too fast. Yeah. It's coming, though, I promise. All right, well, don't we, <laughs> we'll be complaining before we know it. I know, right? All right, Kenny, thanks so much. Coming up next, you drink out of it.